So welcome back to the channel. I'm your host, Coach Evans, and today's topic is is Travis Jones. We going you know, go through his his uh, plays from Sunday versus the Giants, uh, see where he did good, where he could have improved, and overall what you know what we think about him. So I got all of his snaps queued up. But what I'm gonna do is, cause I'll get long winded, I'm gonna set my time for 20 minutes, and wherever we at at 20 minutes, that's where I'm gonna stop. So we're gonna go through them, see how far we can get. Uh, see what's good, what's bad about Travis Jones, and, and, and dive right into it. Let me see. I got to add one thing to the screen. There we go. All right, let's roll. Travis in the middle of the middle of your defense. Most of the time going to be your zero or your one tech every play. And we'll let the this angle roll, and we'll kind of talk about the, the back angle. Look at that bully. 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 His first snap gets a sack. His first snap gets a sack. Yeah, he's here. Starts off as a double, but ends up solo with the center. Good hands. Good hands. Good push. He has the leverage on the center now and just driving him backwards. Just driving him backwards. Now he gets rid of him. The quarterback is like in that that striking range, and he just totally disregards the center. Disregards the center, and I know Hendo say he hit him in the face, but I don't see no yellow flag, so we ain't calling it. Hey, I know he complained about it. Who cares? They ain't throw it. We got away with that one. But again, that's that interior pass rush we've been begging for. Not saying he does it consistently, just that play he he did it. Right there in the center of your screen again. Oh, penalty. My bad. <laughs> uh, you here already. <laughs> again, more rush up the middle. Now, they complete the pass, but that ain't why we're here. We, we focusing on Jones. And again, I don't know how good these three guys are. So I don't know if we, you know, can take this as like with a grain of salt or what. I don't know how good those three guys are, but he's a rookie. And so, you know, we can kind of make what we want out of it. Now, I think these two cats, pretty darn good. But them three in the middle, I don't know about them. But I don't know their personnel like that. Now you got one-on-one -on -one with the guard. Now, first thing, played the run, had his gap. That's his gap. Played the run. It was play action. Now I try to get my get to the quarterback. Look, the constant the watch this. Got the way. Now the guard does does do a good job of trying to get back. But look at that dip. The dip is what wins the rep. That dip right there, that wins the rep. Now the guard's on his back. Jones got to get rid of it now. And, you know. He almost threw it, threw it into an interception. If Saquon wasn't such a good athlete, that could have been a pick. I know Malik was thinking, had his eyes on it for a pick or a big hit. But Saquon did a good job of catching it and getting down. Let's keep it rolling. Oh, I forgot they had Bredesen. Appreciate it. I forgot they had Bredesen. I know at one point Bredesen was at center. At one point. All right. Now he's in one take again. Right by Bredesen. Got a double team. Now at this point, you gotta you gotta try to split this. And what you gotta do is you gotta try to take if you're gonna take on 78, take him on and give your back to 68. You can't just try to force your way through that. Or like old school, and I know they don't teach it like this because I reached out to one of the guy who used to work with me, um, that Coach D-line. Old school coaches will tell you grab grass at this point. <laughs> but I don't think they, they teach that no more. Grab grass and make a pile. Just don't be moved. Don't be moved. And again, even when, you know, they came off to try to get to the backer, he started controlling Bredesen. 
Now, it's not a double team anymore. Now, he can kind of control Bredesen, but he don't know where the ball at. So, again, them, Bredesen and the other two cats weren't really a match for him physically. Technique-wise, they probably won some reps. But physically, no. Look at that. That's during that perfection on how you teach it. They run that outside zone away from you. You fire off on the guy that's trying to block you. Watch the head snap. Boom. Connect is, con uh, not connection. Impact is made right here on this line. Now, as a D line, you're never taught to run in this angle. Because they're always going to outrun you. You're taught to run this angle flat. And maybe meet them down the line somewhere, but control your gap. Keep control of your gap, rather. Flat down the line. Flat down the line. Flat down the line. Gets a little, you know, a little, little bend back on the back end. But basically does his job. Coming flat down that line. Controlling Bredesen. You'll see it from the back view how he was controlling Bredesen. Even though it looked like Bredesen was controlling him. He just had that hand, that, that right hand on Bredesen. And if anybody would have cut into his gap, well, Saquon would have cut into his gap, he'd have been there to make the tackle. He look, attacked him. He attacked him. He got, he, that's, that's his own. Ready for anything to cut back there. Still ready. Still ready. Still ready. Flat down the line. Yeah, EDC drafted Bredesen, so I, I, I lost a lot of hope in them cats, bro. A lot of hope. A lot of hope. We did a good job of playing their their um, Wildcat package Sunday. Good job of playing that Wildcat package. Saquon at, at quarterback. Jones at the zero. They try to the gap scheme. But what I like about it is cut. He's totally cut. Like completely. Bam, on the ground. Back up to get in on the tackle. Now, what a lot of people don't know is there's a drill D-line coaches do, and they have like this big heavy medicine ball. And they roll the ball at the at the defender. Their job is to put two hands on it, push it away, then do like a, some kind of agile move and go the opposite direction. So if they like rolling the ball this way, he was to push it that way and then go back and make a play that way. Or if they rolling the ball that way, he's to attack it with both hands, push it away, then make a move the other way. So this is bringing a drill to the field. Bringing a drill. So act like six to eight's the ball. Get two hands on it. Push it away. Even though he still get a good cut. That's a good cut by Bredesen. But be cat-like and get right back up and get in on the tackle. Be cat-like. Get right up. Get back in on the tackle. Again, press, pressing 64 out. He's not a part of the play, but he just kind of explodes on 64. I mean, I'm not even going to slow this one down. He's just going to roll right through this one. Just watch him press 64 out. Like physically, they're not, they not a match for him. Just pressed him out and jumped in the gap. Now, te technique-wise, they may get him on some stuff, but straight up strength and physicality, no match. You know, he's resetting the line. Even though it's a play action, he's resetting the line. If that was pass, he's resetting it versus those three cats. Again, driving them backwards. Driving them, taking both of them backwards. So if that, if that was stretched for real, he blowing that up. Or well, helping blow that up. Not saying he doing it by himself. He helping blow that up. I'm in the shade again. One tick. Weak side one. Mmm. Mmm. Don't help him up and talk to him about it. Now, th now, this play was blown dead. Watch this sheer strength. Sheer strength. Sheer strength. Boom. Get out of the way. Dropped them like that kid from uh, Toy Story. When they brought in Buzz Lightyear, he dropped with it so fast. Get out of here, Woody. Let me go play with Buzz. Woody, in this case, is being Bredesen. Again, they did a good job versus their Wildcat. 
A good job versus they Wildcat. Lined up right here. Weak side one. I mean, yeah, weak side A gap. Center tries to down block on him. Presses him out. Sees the ball and attacks it. So this, this is his gap. He has to control it, which he does. Presses that guy out. He's in his gap. Sees the ball coming downhill. Cross faces this dude, which is what no offensive lineman wants to happen to him. Just rips. Just rips him by. No no fancy move, no under dip and rip or grip dip and rip, none of that. Pressing you out, got my gap. I see the ball going in a different gap. I'm going to cross your face and make the tackle. Him along with, I think Calais was in on this. It's a good job. Good job versus their Wildcat. I think they scored on this play. Kind of sort of getting pressure. Kind of sort of getting pressure. Not really, though. A lot, a lot went on in the backfield, so he ain't really, I don't think he knew where the ball was. A lot was going on back there. Two different fakes. Pressing that guy out, throwing him by. So he technically wins that rep, but there's a lot going on. A lot going on. And anytime we miss a, a, a turnover opportunity, they score. They mean anybody else we play. And press him out. Like I said, re reestablishing the line of scrimmage. Even though he don't get to the tackle on some, he's physically dominating his guy. Physically dominating his guy. He's right, right there at the nose. Again, take takes on that. And look, he blows that up. You can't really tell from this view, but I think that's Bredesen. He's two, three yards behind the line of scrimmage. He resets that line. Watch. Watch right here. This is the matchup. Watch him reset this line. They're on the 25. He initially, with his get off, gets on the other side of the 20 line, 25, which is five. Look how far. Bredesen three and a half yards backwards. So had this been anything up the middle, it's done for. But it's on the edge, and you know other people got to do their job too. Yeah, watch him just blow him off the ball. He gets to the other side of the line of scrimmage before they really even move. He just displaces the center or the guard rather. We can, we can speed ball pass this one. Want to rep, but it was just quick, quick pass. Yeah, Bredesen can't do nothing, do nothing with him. Again, yeah, I know it's a play fake. I know it's a play fake. I know, I know. But if this is stretch, which is what they're faking, watch him destroy this. Watch him pre press this dude so far backwards. Now, I'm not saying he made that tackle because that's Saquon, but look how fun the backfield he is already. There's no, there's no cutback opportunity for him. He got to go that way, and if the edge guy do what he's supposed to do, you should have him boxed in. Should. But it was a play fake, so well, we got a sack. Who like it? Man, the BK got a sack. Again, physically they can't do anything with him. I hope this is the beginning of him realizing he can play this type of football constantly. I hope. Now, I do think when he got tired, he kind of started doing this. Not using his hands as much to get off. Not using that, that initial burst move. He just kind of being started being blocked, so to speak. And this is a lot of what he was doing 
early, like the earlier games. He was just being blocked. He was just big and trying to bull rush and basically being blocked. This is not what he did at the beginning of the game. See that? That's not what he was doing at the beginning of the game. That's that's kind of lazy. Because I'm sure they're, they ain't readjusted how he's blocking him. He's just not doing the same moves with the same effort. Again, gap control. Did, didn't penetrate, just just was a stalemate in his gap. Was a stalemate in his gap. Right here. Right there. Yeah, he got that gap. Look, that's that's where that's as a coach, that's how you press. You teach it. Get up in the guy, press him out, find the ball in your gap, head in your gap. That's textbook on how you teach that right there. If you look that up. Any D line coach would love that. Now, what happens afterwards, maybe not, but this part of the play, any D line coach would love that. <laughs> Give him a chance, Hendo. Give him a chance. Give him a chance. And I ain't, I'm, this is all his snaps. I ain't like cut it up. This is all his snaps in a row. So I ain't like pick five good plays like I normally do or something like that. This is what he is. But again, I don't know the quality. I know Bredesen is not very good. I don't know about the other two guys. But physically, he, you know, mentally he got to get right to, to realize that, oh, I can play with these guys. The physical part, he got it. That right there was a run away from him. Ain't much he can do about that. And he played real good early. I think the longer we go in the game, I think he may be getting tired and kind of sticking and staying on blocks. We're going to see. We got him in a three tech, right? No, I got him in a one tech right here. So, again, kind of looks like he may be tiredish or the Giants figured out what they need to do because he was killing Bredesen early in the game and now watch Bredesen kind of block him right here. Kind of hooked. You got to fight through that. Got to fight through that. So they got leverage on him and he didn't cross face it. That's what it was. They got leverage on him on a down block. And he got to fight. You got to fight to get over top that. Well, maybe not. Let me see what gap he got. This is his gap. And then Bynes is fighting over the top. Let's try to figure out these gaps. There, there, there. Bynes there, there, there. Away there. Chuck there. All right. So that's his gap right there. He got play side A. And even though he gets down block and he goes around him, this is still the same gap. So he's in his gap. That's technically the same gap. Just a different person blocking him. And he controls his gap. You like him to see him see him get off that and get down that line flat like he did earlier in the game? Didn't happen. I don't know if he's getting tired or what. Hendo, take care of that for me, please, sir. If you're still here, you got a wrench. Take care of that for me. Got him at the zero. Yeah, I think later on in the game, he got tired. So it needs to be more of a rotation. You need to see more, more, um, what's the two other guys? Urban and Washington. Because now look, he's getting blown off the ball now. We didn't see that early in the game. And this is kind of stuff that, that my colleague Hendo be talking about. He's getting blown off the ball now. He's right here. We wasn't seeing this early in the game. You know what I'm saying? We wasn't seeing that. He was exploding, getting in the backfield, penetrating. I don't know if he's tired or, or they, they ain't like they, fit, they did nothing different. But th this is a microcosm of our defense in general. Start off good when they fresh. And it's like when they get tired, they can't mentally function. So again, just sticking and staying. Well, that, that's uh, Matabike I'm looking at right there. My bad. I might have hit the wrong dude. Okay, he's right here. So I didn't see him on that play. Let's see what we got.
gets a double, tries to hold his grounds, but still, that's too much. He's about five yards back now, and Saquon's just running off his block. That's too much. That's too much. You got to get rid of that dude. You got to get rid of him. Yeah, they, they tried to double you, but now, excuse me, oh, excuse me, now that it's back to a solo block, abuse this cat. I think this is one of, the play, one of my favorite plays of the game. And if it is, I'm going to kind of set it up. He's going to, if this is the play, he's going to blow somebody up. And no, it doesn't matter BK, so this is not it. Again, got got what he needed, the initial uh, press and, and, and peak, but he just stopped. Watch. Got what he needed on the center or whoever the guard, pressed and peaked and just stopped. Got him pressed out, got his gap, and just kind of shut it down. Just kind of shut it down. No no violent arm action to get, to get you know, to get off of him or just – I think he's tired. See that now I got we got penetration there. But let's see what the time time is. Let me go back and see what the time is. Maybe he was able to get a little rest. Come on, show me the time. It's oh, it's the fourth quarter. We're getting in the fourth quarter. Maybe it's motor click back on, I guess. Maybe it's motor click back in. Because that, that, there's the penetration we were talking about early in the game. Now making them cut back. Making them cut back. Now it needs to be, Owe needs to feel that. Owe needs to be there to feel that. And then as they, as they go down, Marlon needs to be on the edge. Well, Owe, they, does, they do feel it. So that's a good job of defense right there. Good job of defense. You see, when, when he comes off the ball violent and, 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 and gets in the backfield, so to speak, that helps the rest of the defense. Blow it up, cut back, in on the tackle. That simple. Win your one on ones, and everybody win their one on ones helps the defense out. Everybody win their one on ones helps the defense. What up, Big Rich? Again, this ain't ain't can't really much ain't much he can do about that. Play action one way, boot the other. Got him at the zero. Again, I'm just trying to give you the whole picture because I don't want to. I could normally just I could pick out five good plays and and run them, and then we'll probably think he's the greatest thing since sliced bread. But I want to get a whole picture, the whole picture. And he showed flashes in other games, but even though he had some bad stuff in this game, this has been his most consistent. Again, get a little rush on this one. Get a little interior pass rush on this one, but. You're not going to always get that those interior guys to blow it up. You really want the quarterback to drop, for these guys to push the pocket, and then for when the quarterback step up, that's when your interior guy can get in on the tackle. It's very rare that you're going to get an interior guy just go past the center guard and, and make a sack. The edge guys got to be there too because he pushed that pocket back pretty far. So if, he, if they make him step up, he, he got a potential a sack, a potential sack. And again, let me let me let me let me see this. And this probably ain't got nothing to do with Travis. This ain't got nothing to do with Travis. But I see Broderick Washington down there getting double teamed. So who's free? Who's who's the one on one guy that's free? So you got Urban, Travis, and Broderick Washington. Broderick's gonna get double. I don't know if Queen coming or not. Queen might be coming. All right, Broderick's getting double. Travis got a one-on-one, -on -one, which he needs to start winning those. They just picked, that's a good job of picking picking up the blitz by the Giants. So let me keep let me keep on strolling. None of my business. That ain't my business. That's a good job of picking up the blitz by the by the Giants. Nothing to see here, people. Nothing to see. What up, Up South Q? What's good with you? Mm 
This, now they're starting to. This is when Saquon starts to get his yards late in the game. Late in the game, he finished with eighty three, but again, you gotta, you can't just let that leverage. You gotta violently fight over the top of that, especially that you know the ball's handed over. You gotta violently fight over the top of it, or you gotta use your leverage to push him back. And yeah, he pushing him back, but the ball's gone now. And I'm going to tell you his snap percentage in a minute. I got it on a coming out the printer right there. I got to reach over there and get it. I'll tell you once we, when it hit 20, seconds, 20 minutes, I'll tell you what the snap percentage was. Because he hadn't been playing a ton, but if he played a ton in this game, Big Joker probably got tired. They got double right there, and whoo, they got a lot of movement. Look at the movement they got on that double. He right here in the middle of the screen, right? Just even with the hash. Watch this. Hip to hip, other side of the head. That's a lot of movement as for O line. A lot of movement. But again, you got to decide to take one of them on and give your back to the other one. Let one of them block you in the back and you be mono your mono with the other one. They got that QB sneak. I don't know why when people get being QB sneak situations, we don't have a straight up nose to, to harass the center. We'll be in two A gaps instead of having a, a a nose and then two one one takes. Instead of having a zero and two ones, we have two ones. And 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 QB sneak situations. Coaching though. Yeah, not not great hands right there. Great hands. Great hands. Taking a double. See see how less he moved on that double? Now, look at 64. Look at what he's doing with his hands. He basically is slapping him. Like the 100 hand slap. Remember that on uh, one of them old fighter fighter games? I think Street Fighter. The sumo guy had the 100 hand slap. That's all that was. Got rid of the guy. Forced the cutback. Then you, the rest of your defense was there. When he get penetration or get rid of his guy or win initially on runs, good things happen. Good things happen. Marlo. What up, CBG? Three green, what up? Oh, we almost done. We're almost done. We're almost done. We get about two more plays. Then we're going to ride up out of here. Oh, man, this thing said, I suppose I've been doing 20 minutes. It's 30. Let me get up out of here. <laughs> let me let this run. Y'all jokers ain't told me nothing. Just let me keep rumbling. Just let me keep going. Let me look at the snap percentage for, for um, Travis. Travis played 38 snaps, 58% of the of the um plays nine special team plays so what i need to do is go back and look at how many snaps he's played in previous games because i think he hit a low about the middle of the game where he got tired i think he did then he kind of maybe got the second win back at the beginning of the fourth quarter and then kind of went went that way what up b what up rob what up mj but uh again this is the the film study from what i think is travis's best game as a raven um Early in the game, he had he, I think his first play he got a sack. He had a t, was in on some TFLs or from, or some um, tackles that were like close to no game, maybe like a yard or two. Did a good job of some interior pass rush at time. I think he hit a low about the middle of the game where he got tired, and um, that kind of affected his play and kind of affected the defense as a whole because when he was winning his one on ones, the rest of the defense was flying to the ball and able to to get there. And when he kind of just stuck and stayed. And what that mean by what that mean is just getting blocked and not really trying to get off. You basically brother in law in it. But um that is is what it is, man. I think we got a potential solid player. I don't want to go as far as say superstar or all pro or none of that stuff. We got a potential solid player in Travis. And he just gotta keep on stacking games. Keep stacking games, keep stacking games, and he'll eventually be one of the guys that help us on down the line. So, um, again, appreciate you guys for coming through. It was supposed to be 20 minutes. It's now 32 minutes and 49 seconds. You could have been anywhere in the world, but you chose to be here with me. Like, comment, subscribe, share in your groups. 
Uh, there's a, a link down there to join the be a member. You can do that so you can get the emotes. Um, join Patreon. You can do Cash App. All that good stuff is down in the comments below. And uh, make sure you follow the other Ravens content creators. I got great content coming out all this week from this loss to the New York City football giants. And that's all for me, man. I see y'all soon with something else. Uh, th what I will say is for the members and the people that donate in the Super Chat and all that, soon you'll see that your contributions aren't going to waste. I'm working on something. Uh, if you go look at the the latest video on the More Sifted Talent channel, you'll kind of see the beginnings of me figuring out what I got. And I'll start putting it into use on this channel also. But if you want to peep out the new stuff that i'm gonna be bringing to the channel you can go over to the more sip the tally uh channel and look at the latest video i put up about tyreek woodland from um the seattle seahawks but again i'm out now see y'all later i appreciate y'all appreciate your hendo for taking care of that that uh eagles guy and um i'm out